Hey guys, Loot Wizard here, another video on Gems of War, and this week the class event is for the Thief, so I'm going to be doing a little bit of an overview of this class, why I think it's great, and uh, we'll look at a few teams that include this class, uh, and teams with the uh, the goblins, because the Thief class is a considered a goblin uh, troop type. So let's go right into it. I do have Thief maxed out to 100. Uh, and Thief is one of the classes that you probably should spend some time on um, because it has one of the best weapons in the game for one of the best gold farming teams, which is the Skeleton Key. And the Skeleton Key will do damage to the first and last enemies boosted by your gold. If an enemy dies, gain an extra turn. So that's really great because, uh, I mean, extra turns are always fun. But uh, it's great because we uh, can boost the gold up by using Cedric uh, once you get him from the vault. And once you unlock its final trade, it'll give you 100 bonus to gold. So you can get that gold up pretty high to like 200 with just one Cedric in your team. And then this will be doing damage boosted off of that. And it does some pretty high damage and you'll have the potential of getting that extra turn. Uh, and you do get this weapon after 250 wins with this class equipped. So, um, you know, that's really uh, not too hard to get. You can just go into Explore Level 1 and just use a really quick team and just do your 250 battles that way. Uh, it's pretty pretty quick to do. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's a good class. Um, what it does here in its traits, it can start with 50% mana at this, when you have to unlock the second trait. And then the third one is called Sneak Attack. It'll deal 7 damage to the last enemy on 4 or five matches now this isn't a lot of damage but it does help uh, you know it will help to uh, eliminate that last enemy and finally let's go into here to the uh, talent trees and look at this really quickly so uh, it has a few good things in the talent tree uh, first of all we have hunt here and then gloom wind shield I would say the first one here hunt is what I have selected but um, windshield is pretty good but the reason why I have hunt selected is when I'm doing um, when I'm using this class for my uh, gold team which the gold team the standard for that is going to be uh, Cedric at the top and then you're gonna have egg thief under that then you'll have skeleton key and then finally at the bottom you would have greed now greed is uh, an important part of that team too and I can show you that team later but just to uh, hone in on the point here of why I have Hunter's Mark selected, um, because Hunter's Mark is going to do uh, double damage. Um, well, troops that you have will do double damage to a Hunter's Marked enemy with skulls. So uh, now th this this trait, this talent, uh, would be better if it always Hunter Marked the first enemy because that's where skull damage is done. But uh, it's still it's kind of just I selected it because it's kind of like an extra way that we can do damage because when you are destroying the entire board with your egg thief there's a lot of times there will be uh, skull matches that come down uh, and your first troop will use that to uh, in, uh, to do a little extra damage besides your your skeleton key. So now row five here, I just have precision selected because um, there really isn't <laughs> there really isn't anything here. Uh, skeleton key is not a dagger. Uh, shadow scales doesn't matter if you're using this for uh, the skeleton key team. So really, row five just doesn't matter what you select there. Now row ten, I would say light fingers is going to be the, your best option here in ten because you're going to be using the Thief class primarily for uh, your gold teams. Now, there are some good teams where you can just use goblins and you don't have to worry about gold and all that. Um, and in that case, you might want to um, select like Shadow's Call or something like that. But Light Fingers is really good because it helps you get your max gold up quicker, gain five gold every turn. Now, that doesn't sound like much, but when you have Cedric in there, that five gold is going to turn into like 10 gold. And so every single turn, you're going to you know, gain like 10 gold. Uh, and once like two or three turns goes by, uh, you know, that's an extra like 20 or 30 gold. And that's really important because it doesn't just boost your damage with Skeleton Key. It, it, it boosts the amount of mana that you can destroy, the gems you can destroy with your Egg Thief once you get that powered up. 
Uh, now, the best one, I think, in row 20 is backup. You have a 35% chance to summon a bandit when an ally dies. And your allies are going to be dying. Like, Cedric doesn't have any damage uh, mitigation from skulls at the top. That's usually where I put him. So once he's dead, you have a 35% chance uh, to summon that bandit. Um, so that's that's good. Now, stealthy, that's really good, too, because it'll keep your uh, skeleton key weapon from being targeted by single spells. Now, it can still get hit by damage to all, uh, or it can be damaged by uh, types that aren't single targeted spells, but it does help a little bit. Dodges is, is, I think, the best one here in level 70, even though you probably won't. If you're using the Skeleton Key team, you probably will be safe because you'll have Egg Thief above your Skeleton Key, or at least you should, and your Egg Thief will summon uh, those eggs. And that'll probably keep your, your key safe. But just in case something does get down to it, you have that 30% chance to dodge skull damage. Now, the best one here at level uh, 100 is Rising Shadows. Uh, because you have a 7% chance to assassinate the last enemy when another enemy dies. And this has happened for me uh, when I'm using Skeleton Key. So I'll actually destroy like uh, two enemies uh, that are low enough in their health with my skeleton key. I'll get that extra turn and then I'll, I'll see like a, a third enemy just die, uh, get assassinated. So that 7% chance is pretty low, but it does happen. Uh, it's pretty, pretty good there, uh, when it does happen. So just, just to go over this really quick, my, my, uh, order of talents here for the thief class is hunt. Um, the row 5 doesn't matter, 10 is light fingers, 20 backup, 40 is stealthy, 70 is dodge, and 100 is rising shadows. Uh, that I think is probably the best build for this class. So now that we went over traits and talents, let's go take a look at uh, a few teams with this. So basically we have, uh, here's one with two Cedrics. Uh, and I used, I used this one uh, for level 12 Explorer Battles uh, because it gives me more gold. But it's a little bit slower. So normally what this team would look like is you'd have Greed. And if you don't have Greed and you don't have them powered up and ascended and all that good stuff, you should. Uh, greed here, what it does is it will gain gold equal to its life and then it gains life and it gains an extra turn. Uh, it does have the power uh, to start with full mana if you unlock it with its traits. So you can just cast that immediately when you start your battle. Uh, and I did go ahead and metal this troop. If we go in and look at its rarity, it's only a rare troop, base rarity here. It says rare. So it's not going to be really expensive to, to fully metal this thing. And by fully metaling it, it gave it some extra uh, health, I'm pretty sure. So that's what I wanted because, again, the gold you gain is based on your life. Now, the other thing you can do in a, in a, when you're running a purely gold team like this is if you have the metals, the Yasamine metals, you can go ahead and equip those. So, for example, let me just collect my tribute. Uh, these metals up here, uh, this is what the metal of Yasamine looks like right here. And if you equip three of these, it's going to give you three times eight extra life for all troops. Now, if you run that with your um, with your key team like this with greed, look at this. Now, the life right here is shown. It it was seventy something. Now it's ninety eight. So it's going to really uh, really boost my uh, ability to get that gold up there immediately by doing that. Uh, so that's a tip there, and this is what the uh, the key team would look like. Uh, the, it's pretty much the standard classic key team. You have Cedric here at the top, and then you have Egg Thief, your skeleton key, and then Greed down here at the bottom. Now, you can replace Greed with Leprechaun, but I don't think it's quite as good. I've tried using it, and you don't gain as much gold uh, from the, right away from the beginning. Uh, so it takes a little longer to get powered up. And for the banner, I use double green and uh, red just because I want to focus in on the mana going to the Egg Thief. This is not going to start with 50% mana, so you're going to have to uh, you know, rely on getting enough green and red early on there to get it powered up. Uh, and while you're doing that, it's nice to have that Light Fingers uh, talent going on here. If you look in this list here, Light Fingers gain 5 gold every turn. That's great because as you're trying to get Egg Thief powered up, you'll have those turns in the beginning where you're starting to gather some gold 
and that way when you cast the egg thief for the first time uh, you'll gain more mana back uh, so yeah that's that's really an important thing there now you can use different classes I'll just say this you can use different classes with this team but try to find another class that has the light fingers talent because that'll make uh, a, a big difference in getting this team powered up. Now the second gold team has to do with the bronze lock pistol, um, and it doesn't. You don't. You really use egg thief with this team. Um, how I usually set it up is I put greed at the top this time instead of at the bottom. You get it full. Uh, you cat. You cast it immediately, and then you get your bronze lock pistol full. Um, by just matching your brown and blue. So I changed the banner here for double brown and blue. And uh, Thief works good for this, but this also works good with other classes that don't really uh, need the Light Fingers talent. Um, you can use um, you know, any of the Rock Solid uh, talent trees, which is your Titan, your Rune Priest, your Sentinel, Monk, and Plague Lord, all those classes. You could use this pretty well too, because you're going to be matching brown, you're going to gain barrier. Uh, but and you can really put this this gold team uh, is still going to get you as much gold by winning as the skeleton key team that I just showed you guys. Uh, but it will be a little more versatile because you will be able to put really any kind of legendary, any kind of mythic in this uh, third spot right here. And then the bronze lock pistol is going to do a little bit of damage. And then once the gold is all the way up to 200. Every single time you cast it, you'll be able to uh, destroy the entire board. So you'll get, you're going to generate a lot of mana. And then this third troop is supposed to be your uh, high damage troop. So just look for a legendary or a mythic troop that does high damage. You can put them in there. And this teamwork's usually pretty good for a lot of different things. Um, um, but yeah, another troop that works really good with that. Getting a little, <laughs> a little distracted here, but... Uh, uh, I know these gold teams are pretty popular, but uh, where, where is that one troop, the king? Uh, here he is, king of thieves. I showed this troop too, and usually if I put the king in here, I'll actually put him up here. Uh, king of thieves is a troop you can get in the underworld from the city of thieves faction. And uh, every time you cast him, he will gain three to all skills boosted by the gold. So uh, once you get... Once you get fully powered up to 200 gold, every time you cast King of Thieves, he's going to gain like somewhere between like, I think it was like 40 or 50 uh, points to every one of his skills. So that means his magic, his armor, his life, and his attack is all going to get increased by like 40 to 50 every single time you cast them once you get up to that 200 gold. Um, so that's that's kind of a fun uh, team there too to use. Um, but yeah, that's the Thief class works good for <laughs> those gold teams. That's, that's really what I was trying to explain. But uh, yeah, now let's go on and let's take a look at a few goblin teams here. Uh, so this is a pretty common uh, goblin team here that you'll see in PvP uh, or in defending for guild wars. And it's pretty strong unless you have a way to stop them from gaining extra turns, uh, which usually that has to do with freezing them. But it's really a, a pretty strong team in a lot of cases. This weapon here, which I recommended earlier this week for the Soul Forge video, Norbert's Turnup. It's a really good weapon. Uh, I would say it's one of the best uh, weapons for uh, this type of weapon uh, that generates mana based on how many allies of that certain type that you have in your team, simply because goblins are so um, effective with the extra turns. And uh, so, yeah, if you don't have this weapon yet, you might want to spend some diamonds in the Soul Forge this week and grab it uh, because goblins are pretty strong. You can get the King Gob Truffle. That's one of the best troops in the game right now for just, you know, general PvP and Explorer and all kinds of stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, the one thing here is that the Norbert's weapon generates green mana. It also generates red. I, I kind of wish that it would generate green and like blue uh, or green and uh, yellow so that it would fill up the weapon again. But, <clears throat> you know, so you kind of have to try to put a troop in here that does have the red color just so that that mana doesn't go to waste. But, uh, yeah, this is uh, pretty strong here. You got String uh, Fiddler up here at the top, which will silence an enemy, explodes gems, so their mana color gains an extra turn. So it has some potential there for mana generation. And then this is mana generation and damage. Gob Truffles, mana generation and damage, plus uh, extra turn. And the Toad Squeezer guy here is, even though it's a special event troop for towers, it's still pretty good just in general like PvP and stuff because it will gain, it gains an extra turn and then it either explodes 
four gems or it enchants all other allies, which both of those things are pretty good. But the fact that it, it, it will gain an extra turn anyway, uh, it fits into this team really, really nice. Um, so for Goblin Team 2, it's a little different. Uh, we just switched out the uh, Toad Squeezer guy for No Ben Brothers, which this is another really good troop. It'll eliminate, it'll, it has like three different options of things it'll do. It'll either eliminate attack from all enemies, or it will deal damage to all enemies, or it'll explode gems on the board. So all three of those are pretty good. And uh, so that goes good with that weapon as well. Um, and then there's another Goblin 3 team. This This one isn't pure goblin um and i did uh you i did switch out the class to titan on this but you still could use it with with thief but I, it's not really a great advantage to do that it's better with this type of team setup because this right here is the mythic so uh high king iron gut can work okay with a full goblin team but i don't think that's really the best team for it uh the best best teams for the king Iron Gut is to try to increase its attack damage as quickly and early as possible because that is its percentage of devouring. Uh, so if you can get this attack damage up to 100, you will have a 100% chance to devour the enemy and unless they are immune to devour. Um, so how do you increase its attack? Well, uh, this guy right here, which you can get in the underworld from the Fang Moor uh, faction, Chief Dargon will give attack to itself and all allies below it, plus it generates a little mana. Uh, it has 50% uh, damage reduction to skulls, so it's a good one to put right there at the top, and that should increase the attack damage of the King, Iron Gut, uh, as well as Gargoyle goes good with this team as well because it will be doing boosted damage by um, all allies attack, so that's interesting. And Mountain Crusher is kind of just like an extra mana generator there for the brown for the king. Uh, but that's pretty much, this team does work for level 12 explore battles. Uh, because it will, once the once the King Iron Gut starts getting that devour going every single time, uh, works pretty smooth. So that's an option there. Now, one thing I want to show here is what other troops and weapons can you use to increase the, the attack damage. Uh, of the King Iron Gut because that's your, like I said, that's your percentage of devouring. So as I just showed you, you can use the Chief Dargon. Uh, this weapon here is a weapon that you can use. It's pretty high mana cost though. It will give life to an ally and double its attack. So uh, that is a, a weapon you can use. Another weapon is the uh, Earth Fury. Let me just find it here real quick. Right here, Earth Fury, eliminate all armor from an enemy and deal damage. Give all allies two attack boosted by armor eliminated. So you can use Earth Fury in here too instead of the uh, Cauldron, that other one. Uh, both of those weapons will increase the damage, uh, the attack damage. So then the next, next troop, which you do, this you get this troop early on. Like I think it's one of the first troops you get in your uh, quest line. Uh, and this is Luther. You will... Uh, be able to increase the attack of all allies with Luther. Uh, so this is also another troop. And this one you can put anywhere in the team. So Chief Dargon has to be above King Iron God if you're using it. Luther does not. However, Luther does have two colors that uh, Iron Gut uses. So if we go up here, Iron Gut uses blue, brown, yellow. Uh, <laughs> and... So Luther is, you know, the mana, if you put Luther below the Iron Gut, you're going to have to uh, wait until Iron Gut's full first and then go down and then fill up Luther and then cast Luther and then use uh, the the King Iron Gut. Um, and with, same thing with uh, Ethereal Sentry here. This is another troop that you can get in the Underworld from the Hall of Guardians faction. And the mana is going to be blocked on this one as well. So you might want to put this one above High King Iron Gut. Uh, but I don't know. It all depends on what you're doing because sometimes uh, all you need to do is cast it once. And so it's, in those cases when you just need to cast it once in order to get High King uh, Iron Guts uh, attack up to 100, you can put it underneath and then just wait until it gets full cast it once. And that way you don't have to fill it up every single time before you fill up the, the King. Uh, but this troop here will increase an ally's attack by their armor. So whatever their current armor is, that will it will give that uh, to that ally as its attack. So if we go back up here and we look at the king, uh, it my attack or my armor right here is 65. So it would give that to the attack. It would add it to that, which would put me over 100. So I would only need to cast it once. Um, now there are there are quite a few good goblin troops. 
uh, even ones you can use early on. What the hell am I looking at here? Kingdoms. Oh, I'm in the weapon. Duh. Uh, I was looking for troop type. Is what I was looking for. And I was like, well, why isn't it there? Uh, okay. Uh, but yeah, so early on you do get this goblin troop. And he is, uh, he's, he's, he's okay, you know, early on. I'm going to give you a little bit of damage, gain an extra turn, has low mana cost. Um, Goblin Rocket is another one that I didn't really show, but in case you don't have No Bend Brothers or Toad Squeezer, uh, you can put the Goblin Rocket in here because the Norbert's weapon will be generating red, and so it could fill up the Goblin Rocket. And then you could cast the Goblin Rocket, it'll explode, do a little damage, gain that extra turn, and maybe that little explosion will help gain enough mana for some of these troops to cast again. So Goblin Rocket's a good replacement, uh, cheaper replacement if you don't have No Ben Brothers or the Toad Squeezer down here. Um, another good troop uh, to use in a Goblin team is the Goblin Shaman here. Uh, this guy right here, because it will create green gems, it gives life extra turns. So one of the things you could do is have like, uh, you could have this guy in here and you could have two King uh, Gob Truffles like this. And uh, now I would probably switch out this weapon right here to something different in this type of team because you're going to waste a lot of the uh, red mana that's generated by it. But uh, a team kind of like this works pretty good because whenever you don't have enough green to keep your King Gob Truffles going, you can cast your, uh, your Goblin Shaman here and he'll create green gems and that'll probably help you get those full again. And uh, Goblin Shaman uses brown mana and the uh, Gob Truffle here creates brown so... Those are kind of a good match to go together with each other. Um, now, I know there, there's kind of an older team uh, where Princess Fizzbang is in here with No Ben Brothers, but that I don't see that team really used much anymore. But, uh, yeah, so that's, that's pretty much it for uh, going over uh, the Thief class and some of these Goblin teams and strategies. Uh, so, yeah. Um, Sorry, I didn't really show any gameplay. I just wanted to kind of do a quick video here talking about, you know, the, the class and what kind of troops you can use and how to use them effectively and all that kind of stuff. So uh, hopefully you got something out of this video and, uh, you know, I'll catch you guys in the next one. So later.